Hey everybody. Uh, since the last video, a few people have expressed an interest into how I colour the ground foam that I use. You can see that I have uh, lots of different colours, shades and textures to choose from. And I'm always making more. I'm going to show you today how I make the earth tone with a green hue. This is the coarse turf that I've still got left after I've made the, the fine turf mix. So let's go and do that. So here I have the mixing bowl and half a sponge shredded. Here's the other half. Now for this I use one blue to one, two, three, four, five yellow. Quite a healthy dollop. I don't know what we would call that. Half a teaspoon. And then what I do, I, I, I use the bowl on its side like this so I can just mix that colour together. I use my palette knife and I just start to blend the blue and the yellows get the green that I'm looking for. So now I've got this very nice natural green colour with a, a slightly mustardy flavour to it. The yellow is coming through. So here, what I was saying before about using the yellows and the blues to get the greens, this is the colour that I'm mixing up here, this green, and if I put, this is a sap green, if I put that next to it you'll see that it's an absolutely, completely different type of green. It's nowhere near that, it's got like a bluey grey hint to it and it's really no good for what I'm trying to achieve here. So the next thing to add. A small amount of burnt sienna. I'm going to just push that into there and start to mix that in. Okay, so that's gone in really nicely. Just brought that kind of mustard flavour. Now remember, when you mix up the greens, almost anything you add a third colour is going to take you to brown and you'll end up with mud. So you don't want to add brown to that because you will just get a dirty, dirty mud. That's why I've added the burnt sienna. You can see now, wait there, let me get... That's the green colour. And that's the colour we've got now, with a very small amount of burnt sienna. But you can see how red that is when it's among the greens. So that's that. And I'm going to add <clears throat> some water. Not too much, but neat paint will just coat the foam in a, in a crusty coating. And it's, it's not good. So I need just the right amount of water to make the paint run so that the pigments run and <clears throat> it's not as if I'm going to weaken the, the, the strength of the paint because the sponge will soak everything up and then that will all dry up together the water will dry up and leave all the pigments there so that's the next thing to do so there's a squirt of water and I'm just going to spend some time now making sure that this paint is really well mixed in. So that's that's mixed in really well. Happy with that. Over to the the foam itself, what I do like to do before I get it into the paint. It's just go in with some scissors like this 
and break up any of the larger chunks. I find that the, the finer this is at the beginning, the better results at the end. There's less of a colour change uh, in the grinding process if this is finer when it's coloured. So I'm just going to put all of that into there now. I can clean my uh, clean my palette knife in there. I'm going to put on uh, a kitchen glove and colour that. So I've just got enough water in there that I can. What I want to do is be able to squeeze the paint right through the whole thing. So I'm going to pick that up and you see the paint coming out. That means that I'm getting an even mixture of paint and I'm getting a good penetration into the foam. Right, that's ready. That's all it needed. I just rub it with my fingers just to make sure that it's all in. I'm not even looking for an even tone, that's not really important. Just just want to make sure that the whole thing's got some colour in there. There we go. Okay, so that goes into this bowl here. And then that's just going to go to the onto the window to dry overnight. So you can see there how it looks when it's dry and given one grind into a kind of a coarse turf. And you'll see there are lots of colours and toned. So here I have some woodland scenics light green coarse turf and if I just sprinkle some of this around you see that it blends in really well now I've used this earth tone on top of um, a green colour and I think that adds a nice layer of richness to that. As a way to build up shade and texture. So here then are my uh, green earth colours. This is the earth with a green hue that I've just made. That has one blue, five yellow, and burnt sienna. But then as I come up into the greens, this is a light green with an earth tone. So kind of flipped over. The same blue and yellow content, one blue to five yellow, but the additive for this is raw sienna. Burnt sienna is uh, too brown to move up into the greens. Uh, the raw sienna is just enough to give uh, a slight downward hint into the greens. So that's that. Something good for you next time that I hope you'll enjoy. But until then, stay safe, be well, and all the best. <laughs>